Today I'm going to show you how to work a beaded double crochet which will be abbreviated to BDC in your pattern. I'm going to show you how to work a beaded half treble abbreviated to BHTR in your pattern and finally a beaded treble abbreviated to BTR in your pattern. This, is a brief, the vid, this video is one of a series of short films we have created to accompany some of Jane Crowfoot's crochet designs. You can access other videos by visiting the Janie Crow website. All our techniques are explained using UK terminology. You can find a list of US equivalents for all videos on the website too. Right, here we go. Today I'm going to show you how to thread beads onto yarn. It's important to thread the beads onto the yarn before you start crocheting and it's the technique that's used in all of Jane's designs. Take a fine needle, one that's going to be thin enough to pass through the bead. Thread that up with some cotton which you're going to knot to make an entire loop and at this stage it's a good idea to pull that loop round so that you're not, as, you, as you're sliding beads down, you're not putting extra pressure on that knot. Pick up the yarn that you're going to thread and just pull that through so that you've got another loop coming out of that loop. We're now ready to start adding the beads. So the beads are added down the needle, let them slide down and you'll find that they'll slide down the cotton thread really easily and then just gently pull them down the thread. Okay, I've probably got that a little bit long. It's one of those techniques really that you're going to find your own way with. So you can start to thread more beads on, let them come down the cotton and then onto the yarn and you'll see that the yarn pinged a little bit there. So now I'm going to slide all of the beads except that last one so that that makes a little locking device and then I can just keep adding beads in the same way. down the cotton, along the yarn, saving that last one as a little locking device. As an alternative to using a needle and thread, you can use one of these needles that's already pre-split. So in that case you just slot the yarn through that, slide the bead down just as you would with this method. Start by threading beads onto your yarn. A beaded double crochet is worked into a double crochet fabric and please note that I'm starting this stitch on the wrong side of the work. You will work in double crochet up to the point where you want to place your bead. When you reach that point, slide the bead along the yarn so that it sits nice and snugly against the hook. Insert your hook into the stitch, next stitch, pull through the loop, still ensuring that that bead is sitting nice and close to the hook and then complete the double crochet in the usual way. I'm going to put a plain double crochet in between. So for our next beaded double crochet we're going to slide a bead up
If you're working to a particular pattern of beading, it's always a good idea to turn the work round and check that the beads are in the right place. Now I'm going to show you how to place beads on the right and wrong sides of the work using the beaded half treble stitch. I'm working into a half treble fabric and at the moment I've got the right side of the work facing me. So the beads that I'm going to place are going to actually appear on the wrong side of the work. Slide a bead along the yarn so that it sits nice and close to the hook. Take the yarn around the hook. Pull a loop through and you'll see that you have three loops on the hook. Take the yarn around the hook and pull through all three loops to complete the half treble. I'm now going to do a plain half treble and then that beaded half treble once more. So we're going to slide a bead up the yarn so that it's nice and close to the hook. Yarn round hook. Check for your three loops. Yarn round hook. And again, complete the beaded double crochet in the usual way. This time, you can see, if I turn that for you, that the beads are sitting neatly on the wrong side of the work. Now I'm going to show you a beaded half treble with the bead on the front of the work. Slide the bead up as close as you can to the hook. Take the yarn around the hook and insert into the stitch that you want to bead. Pull a loop through and then at this stage you're going to use your forefinger to roll that bead that's on the middle loop from the back of the work to the front. And then it's quite a nice idea to hold it with your thumb so that it doesn't ping back and allows you to pull the yarn through those three loops on the hook and that will sit securely on your work. So we start by pushing a bead up to the hook, yarn round hook into the stitch that we want to bead, pull up a loop so that we have those three loops and on that middle one we're going to roll our bead over from the back to the front, just hold it in place with thumbnail, yarn round hook and pull through all three loops to secure. Now I'm working beaded treble crochet. Start by threading beads onto the yarn. I'm working on a treble crochet fabric and please note that I have the wrong side of the work facing me. Work a treble crochet to the point where there are two loops on the hook. Slide the bead along the yarn ensuring that that fits nice and snugly against the hook. Take the yarn around the hook and pull through the last two loops which will also secure the bead. I'm going 
going to work one plain treble crochet and then another beaded treble crochet. So you're going to work to the last step of the treble, slide your bead up the yarn, again so that it's nice and close to the hook, yarn round hook and complete the treble. Again, if you're working to a pattern of beading, you will want to check that you're placing the bead at the right point on the chart. Using that last pull through to secure the bead. 